So guys, you know what they say, the only thing better than owning a boat is having a friend that owns a boat. Today, we're going to Catalina on Max's boat. Hopefully, it should be a good one. I'm Adam and that's Diesel. He's from the desert, I think, or at least that's where he was found wandering around by himself. So I adopted him and now he's a beach dog. It was always my dream to move from England to live in sunny Southern California and now here I am. My goal is to inspire people just like you to chase your dreams and most importantly, get out there and find your everyday adventure. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. We're at the Seals, obviously because we're out on a send on the ocean, but today it's not in the sea -Doo, and it's not in my boat, it's in Max's boat. Now you may remember Max from previous episodes. We've done this jaunt over to Catalina together a couple of times, but I have always been on my sea -Doo. But now I'm on his boat. The weather looks amazing. Catalina is glorious right now. And uh, so I figure I could bring the big camera and hopefully if we see stuff, I can get you some better footage than just what I film on a GoPro. We'll stop along the way if we see anything. Once we get there, I'm gonna do some diving. I haven't been diving for ages and the conditions are perfect. So without further ado, are you ready, sir? I am ready. Are you guys ready? Good, then we shall begin. all the way at Catalina like we've got probably a mile to go and we got dolphins there he is oh, wow. now obviously the rules of engagement are different now because we're in a boat with a propeller so we go very slowly we don't chase after them we just keep our course and let them do their thing on the sea doo it's different they can't hit anything underneath and so i'm able to track with them and get into the pod much more easily when you're in a boat with a propeller obviously there is a risk there now these dolphins they know what they're doing they'll come right up front they'll stay out of the way but just to make absolutely sure this is it we just go at a very slow speed and if they want to come hang with us they can and if they don't well that's fine too here we go what's up buddy right here look at that Wow! <laughs> I can always touch it! I know, the water's so clear! Hi dude! Whoa! Oh my god! Can we give me a high five? Come here! Come here! I can hear them like squeaking under there. Wow! You can listen. Look, I can always touch him. Come here. Let me touch you. Oh, okay, bye. Bye, bud. God, oh, that's amazing. Look, he's fully looking at us and talking. Dude, I can literally hear them under the water. Yeah. Wow. Hi. What are you saying? It's like, what kind of animal are you? Hi, bud. Yeah. See you later, dude. Thanks for that, that was fun. Come here. Come here. Oh my God, dude. I have genuinely never interacted with a dolphin like that before. Like normally they'll just ride on the front. He was looking at me and like making noise. I know. Hey guys.
Hobart. All right, so we made it here. Welcome to Catalina Island. If you're new to the channel and you've never seen this before, I've done quite a few videos here. It is beautiful. It's this hidden gem in California. There is the mainland right there. But when you are here, you literally feel like you are a million miles away from California. It's almost like you're in Capri or somewhere. It's unbelievable. So we're just gonna go get on a mooring now and then we'll probably go grab some breakfast. And then right there is where we're gonna go do some diving. So the visibility there is beautiful. There's kelp forest, there's cool fish and stuff. So we'll go and jump in the water over there and go and see what we can find. Right. If you guys have never been here, you have to come. If you live in California, you have to come visit. It's amazing. Come stay on the island, come do two days, three days. A day trip is fine, but realistically, two or three days, you are gonna love it. You get to explore all of this. You can go on hikes. They have tours that take you up into the interior where they have buffalo. Yes, buffalo. Oh my God. Oh my God. There is a buffalo right there. And uh, you can also go to Two Harbors, which is on the other side of the island, which is so remote. And there's basically nobody that lives over there. It is just a little slice of heaven. I cannot talk highly enough about it. Around our breath, Catalina. All right, so we're getting on our mooring and uh, this is the first time I've done it. So you have to pull up this disgusting thing, <laughs> which really isn't nice. But look at this guy. Look at this crazy looking crab that just came off of here. I just lifted it up. He's covered in all of the like the seaweed and he literally looks like this. That's amazing. He's so cool. So how's this for a view? Beautiful. So we're here at the casino. The weather is perfect. And I'm gonna go dive right over there. So we're gonna jump in while I'm in there. Max is gonna learn to fly his new drone. <laughs> Don't crash it. Thank you very much. I, <laughs> I have had such a mare with my drone on this trip over. So I sliced my hand open as soon as I got into the boat and tried to take off with it. Uh, then I tried to take off with it at one point and basically crashed it into the side of Max's boat taking off. It's just been a nightmare, but I have got some steezy B-roll shots. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's go take a look and I'll show you exactly where we're going to be diving today. So here you go, guys. Casino Point Dive Park. As you can see, there is tons of kelp which is really fun to swim through. This time of the year, it's just full of kelp. So we can go dive down through that, swim around, get those cool shots of going through it. Visibility looks amazing. And so people come here, they learn how to dive. I can already see the Garibaldi, which are these orange fish here. That is the uh, California state fish. There's also basically no swell. So you come down these steps when you're ready to jump in and you basically just plop in right there. There's a ton of fish to greet you. And then you're out. So I'll probably go and just cruise up and down this bit right here. There's no real need to go out deep because it does get quite deep. So where these boys are right here, it's probably about 30 to 40 feet right there. And then it just progressively gets deeper and deeper and deeper and more sharky and sharky and sharky. So yeah, <laughs> I like staying close. So if a shark does come, I can run away or swim away. There's also a ton of scuba divers, so they're more likely to go for them than they are for me. So dive equipment today, I've got my five mil free dive suit with the hood so even though it is 80 degrees it's going to be chilly in the water water temperatures are about 60 degrees 58 degrees that's degrees fahrenheit um so yeah it's going to be a little bit chilly um so that's why i'm wearing the five mil and then we've got the big dive fins so my free dive fins which are much longer than a regular scuba diving fin um, so they look like this so they're way longer and they're way stiffer so they're made of a hard plastic and so basically they're a pain in the ass when you're on the surface but as soon as you get under the water they give you a ton of propulsion and they're just way better for getting down deep uh, and then in here somewhere i also have a weight belt and then the last piece of the puzzle mask and snorkel and that's it that's what you need for free diving no other gear necessary just this and your bad self and hold your breath Whew. all right i'm cooking I've got to get in here. So we'll follow those guys in. And then uh, let's see what we can find.
All right, guys, that is Catalina done. Diving was beautiful. It's always nice to be under the water, have a little swim around. Visibility was pretty good. Got myself an ice cream. About to get the shore boat back over to Max's boat. And then probably what we'll do is punch towards Dana Point, maybe see if we can get some whales. Uh, there have been a few in the area. So fingers crossed, we only saw those dolphins right as we got to Catalina. So maybe we'll have better luck going back. But uh, obviously if we see something, I'll take you with us. And uh, yeah, hop on this boat. I'll see you in a minute. We think we've seen something. Not sure. Oh yeah, yeah, it's dolphins. Yes. Uh, these look like common Pacific dolphins. Yeah. Dude, these are so small. Whoa. Whoa. Hey guys. Dude, they're all like lined up, ready to go. Look how much smaller these are than the uh, bottlenose that we were just following. I mean, they're literally half the size. These almost look like babies in comparison. This one's kind of big. Ah. What's up, buddy? seen much on the way out or on the way back apart from one pod of dolphins each way but I have had some of the best interactions with these dolphins both ways so the bottlenose on the way out we got to hang out with those guys they weren't as friendly as these guys are but still we had a lot of fun I had that one that was like locked onto me we had like eye contact it was unbelievable and then now we're in this I wouldn't necessarily call it a super pod but it's a big pod of these common Pacific dolphins. And they are so playful. They're just hanging out, following us around in the boat, and they'll go off and they'll splash around a bit, jump about, then they'll come back again. This has just been unbelievable. Like, conditions have been amazing, the weather is amazing, so much fun to hang out with the dolphins, and of course, so much fun to hang out with Maxi Boy. So yeah, <laughs> what a great day this has been. And just like that, we're back in Newport Harbor, safe and sound having had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to wrap up this episode. I've had such a fun day. Thank you so much, buddy, for bringing us out. Of course. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got to do some diving, got to see some dolphins and had some amazing interactions with them as well. So yeah, really special day. And now I'm going to go and watch the Jackass movie. So hopefully it's just going to get better and better and better. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps. If you aren't subscribed, there's 65% of you aren't. I know because I looked at my analytics. Please go and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and I would love to get there as quickly as we can. So please go and hit that subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me. Um, that's basically it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend or whenever it is that you're watching this. Uh, remember guys, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.